Welcome back to Sanity Lost, uh, the, the thing where we play the game, throw the dice, and meet some clowns. Um, we, well, three-fourths of us spent the last half hour talking about coffee, uh, while the other one got distracted by Twitter. I'll let you decide who it was. <laughs> um, but, uh, it was funny, though, Knight, you brought up something that, uh, it reminded me of a thought I had this week in that conversation, so Knight was one of the people talking about coffee. Um, I would never not talk about coffee. Okay, there you go. Have it. It wasn't him. <laughs> um, Knight hates coffee with a passion. Just, just letting everyone know. And that's wow, why he talks rude. About it so much, just like American <laughs> politics. But anyway, <laughs> um, um, so yeah, now you were told by multiple people that you should go and make your own cafe at some point. I was so like on my walks. Uh, there's. I forget what the name of the road is, but it's like that really busy one. <laughs> that is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, a, it literally is a highway. Is that it's route like, one? Yeah, I believe that's what it is. Okay. I don't know. I just, I walk around it, but there's like this store that's like, uh, it's abandoned. And I'm like, I'm, I don't know if it's abandoned, but it's just like this week I look at it and I see it every time, but it's just like the last couple times, like I look at it and I was like, I wonder how much it would cost to get a loan <laughs> to go and get this property or lease it and redo it and make it into a board game cafe. Mm. And I was like, how much would that cost? I don't know. But then, like, I did my normal big picture thing. It's just like, okay, well, then I also have to play, pay for employees and their insurance. And if there's <laughs> the woman's, I got to pay for maternity leave and all that other stuff. And it's just like, and then I also got to get board game. Like, this is welcome to my brain when I when I get on a whole subject about something. It's like, this would be really cool. And then the next day, it really solved it because I went on my walk again and some dudes were walking in it. So I'm like, I guess that property isn't for sale. And I never <laughs> thought about it again. <laughs> It, there's there's a pretty hefty investment into uh, the cafe businesses like that, and it's a lot of times that just does not make the money. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, most of them, most of the smaller ca uh, cafes like that are just barely making ends meet. Oh yeah, yeah. That's why it, it's a front for my drug empire in the back. <laughs> You can, um, <laughs> you can, to, like, multi -class, or, like, multi-class. Mul multi-class business. <laughs> multi -class business. <laughs> I got my legal up front and the illegal in the back. <laughs> you can, uh, work Paladin with, Paladin in uh, the front, rogue in the back. Uh, you can work with, um, what used to be tummy yummies down the, down the street <laughs> and, uh, get in on their, you know, uh, Probable, area. Uh, that money laundering it doesn't operation. seem like oh okay i, I can i can wash some money like, <laughs> <laughs> i don't know yeah. that just doesn't seem like a good spot this doesn't make sense to anybody that doesn't live in this area no but, uh, no it totally doesn't yeah um, but yeah so that was something i was just thinking about like i don't know would you guys like if i, I hate this question when it's like if money was an issue and it's like well it is so shut up <laughs> but it's like um it's one of those things I always think about is just like if I if I was given enough like capital and stuff to at least get like a small business mm -hmm. started um, and like off the ground I'm like I always wonder like what would I want to do and I realize it wouldn't be food uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like I have people that tell me when they look at my cooking they're like oh you should work in a restaurant I was like no <laughs> you it's work, way you make too like, stressful. You, mm -hmm. Yeah, you, it's too stressful. You have to deal with Karens of all ages because guess what? Yeah, y'all like millennials, Gen Zers, and uh, whatever. Here, I'll even throw the Gen X. I think I hit everybody in this, <laughs> in this call. But uh, in this call. When, when you uh, start complaining, you you be Karenin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how old you are, <laughs> or how valid. I don't want to listen to it. There's not too many uh, business lines of business that mm. don't have some level of that is the, the yeah. challenge. I think that's the hard part. Like, mm -hmm. People have told me and my sister-in-law that we should open an event planning business because Oof. we throw these elaborate jobs. <laughs> we throw these elaborate <laughs> parties. And anytime we throw a party, everyone's like, this is so beautiful. The food's so good. You should do this professionally. And I just... 
I don't I don't think I would enjoy it. Like it's so stressful. John knows. Anytime mm-hmm. someone like asks me to throw a party, I say yes and then hate myself afterwards. <laughs> yep. What if they tell you to drop a party? I don't that know way you don't do actually that. have to throw anything together. You just drop everything and just like, ah, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's, it's definitely one of those things where you have to have like enough stability to be able to like very brutally like shame the type of people yeah. so you get like a reputation that like if you're going to come in and act a certain way this is the response you're going to get right. and so then you're not uh, yeah i like that restaurant that uh <laughs> we went to at pax <laughs> oh, oh is that one that, of like, the ones too? yeah or, yep. that's one place of them in boston what is it i don't even remember we walked past it i could never there, go there's... there there's a few places, a few different types of places like that. Yeah. Disney even yeah. has a, Disney even has the polite version in the '50s prime time where it's basically you're going into mom's kitchen, and yeah. <laughs> have some of the yeah. things from that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's just one of those things. Like I remember that weekend and multiple like night. Be like, yeah, we're doing this. I'm like, okay. Or it was Gracchus, and he was like, yeah, you're doing this. I'm like, okay. And then it was like multiple people like, are you okay with this? Are you okay? Because like, <laughs> they didn't know me, and they just like, the like compared to the rest of them, as like the internet will say, a lot more wholesome right. than they got to know me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's just like, and they're just like, are, are, are you okay? Are you fine with it? You don't have to. You don't have to come if you don't want to. I'm like, I'm fine. It's, I mean, it's okay. The the way I look at a lot of at that type of stuff at this point is like, well, if you're not okay with it, you're just gonna go do something else. You're a big boy. You can. Make your own decisions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep, for sure. I was like, in my head, I'm like, I don't feel like re-downloading Lyft or Uber, so <laughs> I'm just going to go. <laughs> I mean, for me, that's like kind of the same thing. It's like, yeah, I might go for a little while, and just don't be offended if I leave rather quickly, because it's not my scene. It's what yeah, it, it yeah. is what it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Like, I, I think we mm-hmm. went by... Um, I don't know if you were went with me when we went by the. Uh, I think it might have just been Gracchus and I that went by the mixer party at uh, South, and it's like, yeah, this just really isn't my scene, and it's too much noise, too mm-hmm. small of an environment. Just yeah. uh, we'll go say hi to a couple people, and we left. <laughs> so it's like, I don't think I was invited to the mixer party. <laughs> I couldn't remember Uh-oh. who who walked by that spot. <laughs> Is that a David oh, Bus- that, It's like that, a David yes, Buster's I, back room in the. In the mall. I, I remember this because it was a partner party, and I wasn't a partner, so I couldn't go in there. But I hung out at Dave & Buster's with a bunch of other random people I didn't know. <laughs> so I was just like, okay. And then they're like, yo, I got the drink. I'm like, good for you. <laughs> uh, the, the mixture party was in just like this one little back hallway room of uh, Dave & Buster's in. It was so crowded, and the, the whole yeah. venue was so yeah. loud. Yeah. All of those. Every PAX like part after yeah. party I've gone to oh, yeah. it's been with maybe the the only exception was uh it was a Guild Wars two like preview event that was in a pretty spacious area. But other than that, everything else has been like, Why why are we here? Why are we not going and getting food somewhere that's not terrible? Mm-hmm. There was yeah. one of the after parties that was uh I think it might have been the prior year where they had a pretty sizable space that they had for the for a party, and mm-hmm. that was nice. It wasn't loud. Yeah. We got they did these uh, photo shoot things, and yeah, you, know, you could actually hear people and talk. And right, you know, that, you, yeah, you can always tell the places that like they actually planned it as opposed to like we're just gonna rent a bar for a night and you fend for yourself for like three hours, and it's like. <laughs> This isn't, this isn't no a thanks. party. <laughs> Not my jig. Yeah, exactly. Well, just like after parties, there's one that's also good, and it's called the before party or the adventuring party. And this is what we're doing. <laughs> we're in Centralia now. Segway. <laughs> that was smooth, Dave. Still ruined by saying Segway. <laughs> Almost as smooth as these luck rolls. Smooth as oh, yeah. oh, that's right. Yeah, a, double, a double Segway. Okay, so you guys do that. I actually pull up my character wow. sheet. Wow. Wow. Um, and yeah, Ooh. we're we're in uh, chapter two, episode two. Um, 
yeah, something might happen. <laughs> so let's find look, out. Look, 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 what am I rolling? Under or over? Over? Over. Over. You're trying to fail the luck roll to gain more luck. Oh, uh, which, uh, which Caleb fails, fails to fail his luck roll with only yeah, 24 so luck. Succeeded. Yes, <laughs> with only 24 luck, rolls a 23. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's Love it. painful. We're right? Under I'm so or sorry. Over? Over. over. Oh, okay. Then I think you want to fail your luck roll nice. to gain okay. more. It's really weird. And then what I'm is not... it? You roll a ten. Yeah, a D10, d10, and then you add that. And then you multiply it by negative oh, three. Oh, that was weak. <laughs> but it's I still more than the... Caleb. <laughs> oh, that is sad. <laughs> I almost would have rather failed it. <laughs> I feel left out. I, I wanna I wanna see. Let's see. Oh that's an I rolled a ninety nine. Wow. <laughs> okay, well how much luck do I get? Nine. Oh my gosh. Hacks! Hacks! We might be uh, <laughs> we might be dying today if that's how he's rolling. <laughs> No, Watch out, guys. it's terrible because that, I'm rolling high. Watch, I'll roll it again. What do I get? I got a 59. <laughs> is this dice loaded? Why does it keep rolling nine? <laughs> oh, yeah, <it's> a two. <laughs> um, yeah, so many poops. Um, yeah, we'll play music now. We got the musics. Let's set a scene. We're in a car. I don't know what kind of car. Mainly because I didn't ask the character what kind of car they think they would drive, but think it, of it as some sort of black governmental car from the 1940s. Uh, as we have um, Skip driving into Centralia. Uh, Skip, one thing that we didn't uh, have in the last conversation is that um, Captain O'Neill, he gave you... Uh, a few people that are worth uh, talking to that uh, from just just pretty much trusted people in the town that are good to go and talk to to, to have uh, like connections with and they should be able to help you um, and yeah they're just overall like good people and he gave you like kind of a short like in, and it's like in a like a folder that's just sitting uh, in like your passenger seat as you're driving by, and we see it like kind of rattling and stuff uh, as you're going down like kind of the not well paved roads. Um, and we see like there's three names. The first one is Sheriff Alexia Hudson, and it share, shares like her age and how long she's been there and like. Has been sheriff for like the past 20 years before being an officer for about like five or seven. I don't know, didn't write out that timeline. Uh, but um, so I don't even know if 20 years makes sense now. I'm thinking about it. She's been a sheriff for a long time, but it, it says that she's well trusted in the community um, and that if there's any issues, she would definitely be a person uh, to talk to. Uh, another person uh, that is uh, good to talk to is Buck Kelly. Uh, Buck Kelly, as it's, as it's written, is a like he's a, kind of getting a little up in the years, but he's the foreman for the mines, and he's well trusted. Um, even if he's like a little bit mean, but uh, or like he comes off tough, but he is somebody who is well trusted in the community, especially with the mines and. Uh, as one of your missions to to go and check on the output of the mines and everything, make sure everything's going well. Um, it they said yeah, he's a well trusted person. Um, sorry, I said did I say three? I meant four. <laughs> I meant four people that that uh, are worth trusting uh, and talking to. The third one is Father Richard Bailey. Uh, he is. Uh, a man now in his uh, 40s, mid 40s, uh, who has been there at the town for like ever, like since he started, and like the Centralia loves loves him there, and he is he's part of uh, Saint Ignace and um, 
does a lot of work with the community and stuff and connections. And the final person on there, uh, all the way at the bottom, is that we see Cora Richmond. Uh, as it says, young business owner of the general store, um, well connected with a lot of uh, uh, the commerce and, and business side of it, as well as just making sure uh, community and, and connection uh, with her young child. And then like in parentheses, maybe slightly delinquent, but don't judge. <laughs> and so, as uh, like we hear echoing in the wind, I got a knife! <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> oh man, that was my favorite line, and I used it all week. <laughs> tic-tac-toe. Throwing knife, knives. tic-tac-toe. Throwing knife, tic-tac-toe. It's the, <laughs> okay, for people who don't know, <laughs> that we're recording this as, let's see, this week, the the wrap-up comes out, of uh, whatever I named that one, and then next week is when, uh, chapter one of or chapter two part one comes out and i think i named that one as apple lovers and, and tic-tac-toe nice <laughs> nice uh, it's, a, it's a good i don't know i'm like it's a dude, good he episode a, he, he's he stole the show like yeah. he i hope he doesn't die <laughs> I know I just like now raised the death flag. Oh That's what we're supposed to do. But uh, if this was an anime, here's like that boy's gonna live forever. But anyway, um, yeah, uh, Skip, you, um, you kind of get have these names. You kind of recognize, like, came in and noticed them. I'm gonna say, like, kind of looking at her map. Um, I think you came in on Route 61. Mm-hmm. Uh, which for people who don't have a map or don't know that it is from uh, it's coming in from the west which actually feel free to correct me I had assumed that you were in DC when you were talking to O'Neill sure was, that works okay um, yeah so you're coming up uh, down around <laughs> through through the woods and all that stuff and like kind of opening up as you see Centralia and you're pulling down um I know there's a map that actually has the names of the streets, but I don't have it on the one I'm looking at. So anyway, you pull down this this road, <laughs> and you um, you notice that there seems to be a lot of attention. Uh, there's and by attention, not like towards you, but it's like you. It seems like maybe actually, I was about to say stuff with Percy. <laughs> What's the What's your spot hidden to check? Uh, on skip, it is 25. <laughs> That's sad for you. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to open up your character sheet just real quick and just see what broken uh, <laughs> numbers you have. <laughs> oh, I, I, okay, I saw one. <laughs> yep, they're on Intimidate and Persuade. <laughs> Those are automatics. <laughs> All right, so maybe you don't notice. Um, no, right probably away, not. But you're like, huh, there's a lot of people running around. Uh, but uh, you do see some signage uh, for, for the main street. Um, uh where would you where would you like to go? All right. Well, my first uh, probably check in point being uh, you know from the military, I would go to law enforcement first. So I think my first you know visit would be Sheriff Hudson, one to like announce my presence, you know why I'm here, let them know that you know everything is on the the up and up from my standpoint, um, and probably try and gain the assistance or backing of the sheriff in what I'm trying to do so that you know if I have if I can leverage with law enforcement that will make my uh, my job easier mm -hmm. all right yeah so you see some signs uh, very easily able to, to get down there uh, it seems a little busy as you kind of see kind of as, as you see trucks like kind of like filled with uh, stuff it, that you would assume from the mines, uh, whether it's coal or other metals that they found in there. I don't know if there was any other 
metals found in Centralia, but I know that there was a ton of coal, and well, there's it's still being used today. Probably not the way it was attended, but it, <laughs> the coal is still being used. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you see, kind of trucks with coal, uh, kind of going out, and but like there's seen you see uh, an ambulance kind of come from the north uh, through the town as, um, yeah, as it kind of heads uh, pretty much a little bit farther into town as you kind of pull up to town hall. And shortly you find uh, yeah, you find uh, the signs that take you to um, to the police department of Town Hall, um, and there's uh, yeah up front you just see uh, uh, a desk there with um, yeah like a, a young woman behind it, and uh, she looks up to you and she's like, oh hey, um, can I help you? Uh, and skip, uh, skip kind of with, uh, maybe a little, a little short or hurried, um, gives her uh, a good day, ma'am. My name is Corporal, uh, Thompson. I would like to speak with the sheriff if that is possible. Um, okay. Let me, let me check. I think she might have just stepped out, but, uh, let me just check her office. Um, and if not, uh... We can buzz her on the radio real quick. Uh, give me, give me a few minutes. Uh, or not even a few minutes. I was like, give me, give me a second. I wanna actually roll luck for me. Let's we'll see if she's here. Let's see. That is a. What's that number? I don't know. That is a sixty-six <laughs> over fifty-one. Hey. Um. Yeah, so she comes back out and is like, she is here, but she is meeting with somebody. Are you able to wait, or uh, it, it shouldn't be too much longer? Uh, Skip gives a kind of a clipped, I'll wait, and looks for the nearest bench and, and goes and sits down. And okay. kind of sort of like starts shuffling through the like, you know, the papers of the contacts he has and just kind of reviewing that information. Okay. <clears throat> So we're actually gonna go inside uh, Sheriff Hudson's um, office as she's meeting with Caleb, and uh, she's talking with Caleb and pretty much. Just, so, what exactly happened up at the mines? I don't know yet. Uh, there's a some some kind of an explosion that looked, sounded like, and well. Uh, Looks like there's a bunch of people injured, but we're still investigating. This is a natural. Um, wait a second. Hold on. This is me coming out of it. You, Caleb would have known what happened up well, there. You, I guess the, how far... Because uh, we left off the last session with that... I, we left with it cutting, with Buck coming out of the... Or basically being pulled out of the mine, as I recall. Yeah, we didn't specify so, anything about what happened. Besides there, that it was... I thought I did. I thought uh, there was the man standing over him that attacked him. Yeah, so I, I have... We found Buck Kelly bleeding on the floor, man standing over, eyes unfocused, screaming, holding a pickaxe. Um, oh, he eventually right. calms down, and they <laughs> took like, him away. Well, I was thinking there's yeah. just the like, explosion. explosion. <laughs> I was thinking that it's like the the mine. There's like a mine accident. It's the only thing that was stuck in my head. Uh, no, no, he. It's you. It, actually, how about this? Roll luck. Let's see if you were there. Let's see. Forty-two over the twenty-four that I have. <laughs> All right, so. Hey, it's your favorite number. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, no, okay, so maybe you weren't there, and yeah, you say an explosion. He's like, Who told you it was an explosion? Buck Kelly was attacked. Wait, Buck was attacked? Yes, he's going down to uh, Nurse Green right now. I don't know in what condition, but apparently one of your workers went, like, crazy. I, um, look, this, I know it's a stressful time with the war going on, and 
there's just tons of work just making sure that we can keep up with production and, and just everything that's going on, but something isn't sitting right. I need you to see what you can find out. Alright? I don't care if you uh, call and help with uh, some of your friends or whatever, but remember, you cannot let anyone know that you're part of the Whisper. Of course not. I couldn't remember if there was if that was plural or not. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. And then... Uh, Do you mind if I grab and, a, uh, a deputy to run up there with me? Uh, there should be one up there already. Um, I think Tom's up there. I think Tom is up there already looking. So if uh, you want to meet with him uh, and just kind of give a once over, um, he, well, they all know you work up there. So it wouldn't be strange. Yeah, I'm assuming I also, by virtue of spending a lot of time with the sheriff, especially over the last few years, I probably am well known around the the department as well. Mm -hmm. I was assumed you came in like when she was late at night and the only one there. Well, I, I'm so assuming like, that's like the primary but yeah, but, at, but point. But I, yes, uh, the, over the last many many years, even before joining the Whispers, I oh yeah, I they, was they constantly there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So yeah. Um. You. Uh, yeah. She. she Hudson says, like, yeah, if you can do that, um, I don't know, and, uh, if anything seems weird, then we'll let you, we'll figure it out, but, uh, let's go from there, and, uh, keep me informed, and at that moment, like, uh, the inter an intercom buzzes, Elizabeth, is that on your list of technological advances that happened? I, I think we can have an intercom. I think that, that okay. exists. <laughs> okay, it does now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so an intercom buzzes, and uh, uh, pretty much the this girl, uh, Michelle, uh, speaks up. She's like, um, Sheriff Hudson, you kind of have a visitor. Um, he looks kind of important. Um, Okay, um, I'm just, we're almost finished up here, and, uh, yeah, and then the intercom closes, and Hudson looks at you and is like, is there anything else that you need, or can we move on? Uh, I don't think I need anything else right now. I'll, uh, head up and see what, ha what I can find out. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. And, uh, she lets you out of the door. Uh, to move, to go back to the mines. Um, so yeah, Cora, you don't know any of this is happening, actually. Um, I just realized where this music is reminding me of. It's reminding me of the imitation game. <laughs> <laughs> A little I love bit. that movie. That's a good movie. <laughs> um, I say that and realize I haven't watched it in like five years, which probably <laughs> means that there's something like very like terrible. In it that I probably, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, Corey, you're. Where would you be? Uh, would you be at the general store or? Yeah, probably. I guess it depends on what time of day it is. Um, I feel like if there's enough commotion. I mean, Cora's pretty tied into the like ebbs and flows of the town and. Um, can feel with the people when something's off. So um, if there's enough commotion, then I think she would be uh, trying to figure out, even if it's just kind of like being outside her store, like checking in with people. Um, mm -hmm. But if it's like midday, then that's where she would have started off is at the store. Yeah, it's midday. Um, so yeah, there... Maybe you, you heard a little bit that there was some a an accident at the mine and all that stuff um, as, like, a handful of people come in, but no one really knows. Um, but then once, uh, maybe once it's, like, around lunchtime-ish, mm -hmm. um, Ashley Carter walks in with uh, with a stack full of papers and 
I completely forgot what his voice was. <laughs> so, and he's just, uh, oh, um, uh, Cora, Cora, um, question. Can I, um, post some of my political, um, candidate posters up in here? Is that okay? Or do I need to fill out a form or, or something? Oh, um, no, I mean, that's totally fine. People post stuff up in here all the time. I don't have mm -hmm. any policies. Just Maybe I should. I just realized this is the state. You have the same start to chapter one and chapter two. <laughs> Someone's coming in with any posters in the, in the general store. I didn't realize it until I said it. Or does that she do any business? She just made a yeah. poster to hang up. Yeah, she's just she's just a <laughs> billboard rental. <laughs> For that's free. why she's it's like all for free. no one. <laughs> she that's has why no she, policies. You know, it's like, well, we did have apples, but they're just gone. <laughs> I've been doing this for twenty years. I should probably get a policy for this. Don't know where the apples yeah. keep disappearing to. Your posters don't talk, right? <laughs> no one actually, no one actually comes into the store to buy anything. It's just, <laughs> can I, uh, can I rent a space on the the, the cork board? <laughs> that's that's why she's able to come and go from the general store whenever she wants. Like people that see her posters are the ones that are hanging up more posters. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just that's all it is. It looks like a. a one of those like band green rooms that has like posters <laughs> stapled like, on top of each other. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what the walls are made out of. You like go over to the cork board where it's like, let me make some space for this. Some of these are like six months old. Um, I didn't six know. Six months old. <laughs> you move one and you just see Uncle Buster. <gasps> hey, <laughs> joking. <Remember me? laughs> hey, I'm back early. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then Uncle Buster disappears in a puff of uh, disappearance because he promised never to be back in the town. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. And somehow the poster posters. counted. And somehow the poster yeah. counted. Let me, hold on, let me roll luck. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nope, not. I rolled a 72, which was not in favor for you. Um, <laughs> anyway, okay. yeah. So. so yeah, so she's like, oh, no, it's fine. People hang things in here all the time, actually. I probably need to clean up my cork board. Um, I didn't know you were interested in politics. Um, yeah, no, it's... Um... Well, it, actually, I, I'm going to wreck on that. You would. Oh. You would know that. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I this isn't a secret. You were interested in politics. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and uh, pretty much. Uh, well, then, then how about I'll ask how about, you, like, go ahead. I was going to say, how about we roll. I'm trying to think, because I don't want to roll luck. I'm trying to think of something. I don't know if history, if that would really work, but. Uh, okay. I don't know. Maybe psychology? Okay. Roll psychology, add 20% to it, because, uh, unless, correct me if I'm wrong, but maybe, uh, if not the two of you spending a lot of time with each other, if, uh, maybe Jillian coming and hanging out with, with Timmy, mm -hmm. uh, and stuff, so it's like, you guys have spent time together, so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that is, I mean, it, yeah, so it's a 53 under 58. You got that twenty percent. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you you re remember and uh, many a conversations of him with over the past. Um, I'm trying to think, how old is Timmy at this point? He's like eleven, I think. Eleven. Yeah. And so it's been a few years when him. we first yeah, met. So yeah. So at least at least five, five six years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, excuse me, of uh, when he showed up and uh, Jillian's going to school and everything. Um, and so you know, you're sitting there uh, and, well, you remember multiple conversations of him complaining about Carl Giuseppe. It's just like, that doesn't make sense. That's not like, that's not policy. And it's just like, how is he getting funding to do this? And something's not right. And he was constantly complaining and um, last year he put his name in for or maybe the beginning of the year I don't know okay. I don't know how far out he in an adequate amount of time for it to make sense in a political climate <laughs> he put his name in to be um, a mayoral candidate to run against Carl Giuseppe um, and so uh, you you know this the town knows that it's just like all this and and for for 
everyone, maybe except for Skip, who just got into town, um, Ashley has become one of a very trusted person in the community. He's very community focused. He's always at everything, helps plan stuff uh, when he can and tries to get involved. And uh, he's very well trusted with a lot of people in Centralia. Um, but yeah, he's holding up and he's a mayoral candidate stuff. And he's like, yeah, I'm, uh, I'll admit I'm getting a little nervous. I never did anything this like this. Well, you've been talking about it for a really long time. I think you have some good ideas. Which one? Um. Yeah, it ain't so fun now when you say, think of a name, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Elizabeth, I think... Elizabeth doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's his name? I mean, definitely giving the Regular. workers more of their rights back. You know, like mm -hmm. taking care of them. Oh, I actually sure. took that one off. I didn't really get that joke. Jokester. No, I think it's time. Yeah, I think uh, my conversations with Caleb really inspired that one, but uh, I don't know. It's uh, really just getting to know you guys, and um, I don't know. I just don't think Giuseppe really has the future of our children in mind. Yeah. Like, at least he could put a, an age lock on knife sell, selling. You know, <laughs> that one I might disagree with. You know. Well, he didn't break your window three times. We're Who's just, keeping count? <laughs> we're just keeping our kids. Um, there's many ways to keep our kids safe. Yeah, no, it's... Even though no one will tell me, I know there's this town has a history, all small towns do, but I know when not to dig. And uh, if, some, if, the, if the time comes up, someone will share. But at first, what we need to do is at least try to make this town not only better from out of the war, but make sure that we can help this town continue to grow and strive. A place where the kids can, I don't know, do whatever kids do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'd be nice to have a fresh start. Mm -hmm. Well... I hope it goes well. Mm. So do I, so do I. And then the bell rings, and the child of a man steps out. <laughs> <laughs> it's Skip. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> no. Speaking about Skip, let's uh, shuffle back over uh, to you. Uh, as uh, this woman, the, the young woman that you talked to earlier, she's like, oh, um, here, Sheriff Hudson, we'll, we'll see you now. Uh, and kind of leads you, and you... Um, kind of walk past, uh, actually, I don't even know how tall Caleb is. How tall I, is Caleb? I don't know if I ever gave Caleb a height. Uh, okay, four foot two. Four I never thought two. of him as being, a, I never thought of him as being particularly short. Um, Isn't it based on our size or something? Oh, yeah. Slightly yeah, shorter than average, size, apparently. Yeah, yeah I was going to uh, say. Because size is 45. Believe, yeah, both, uh. Percy and Caleb rolled low size. And I was super tall. <laughs> yeah. I, I <laughs> always forgot that, but that makes everything a lot fun. <laughs> like, way more funnier to think of, like, Caleb having to jump up and <laughs> rip the mask out of Cora's hands. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not that much taller. I'm, I'm yeah. My size is 60 out of 45, so it's not, like, insane, but I am I am taller right, than well, him. How, uh, how tall is... What's uh, Skip's size? Skip is... What is his size? 25. <laughs> uh, six, child of a man. 65. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, like, this... Um, this guy, like, maybe uh, his head kind of comes up to, like, your shoulders and... Uh, actually, it's probably... You You can... You look down slightly. I, I'm, I'm getting the heights mixed up. But, uh... 
Yeah, it's just like you're able to look down at as the shock of red hair catches your eyes as Caleb, uh, like, doesn't even pay you attention, I'm guessing. Just kind of... Oh, feel free to correct me, Knight. Uh, I wouldn't as, have been, uh, like I would have heard the intercom that, that the sheriff had was somebody that wanted to meet and would probably be paying attention, but trying not to, being as unobvious about paying attention as possible, like as mm -hmm. discreet as possible about trying to size up this person. You know what? This will be fun. Let's roll for it. Um, let's see. What would be a good skill? I'm like. If you guys think of a skill to like, I guess it would that be spot held. Unless you're you're doing it sneaky, then we could do stealth, and then. Uh, I, I like I if I how about, if I thought it was something I needed to be to not be noticed at all, I would might have tried to stealth out the like the back or something. But I'm no, thinking I'm, no. I'm thinking it's more like I'm just trying to. Assess without just being like blatantly, oh, let me look you up and down type of thing. And You're like giving what him type the side eye kind of hand. Yeah, it's kind of like. I mean, and I can say like Skip wouldn't even notice. Like Skip is very yeah. focused on just the sheriff. He would barely notice that Caleb walked past him. Yeah, it's he's just like doing that. Uh, like the, the swagger walk, <laughs> like <laughs> all shoulders. Like I'm a tough guy. <laughs> I was like, and yeah, so Caleb, you're just like. Uh, you, you get a, a whiff of arrogance as <laughs> as you walk past, and you're like, "Huh, oh, this guy looks pretty cool." No, but <laughs> or maybe not. But anyway, you're like, he's that is one Actually, handsome man. You but know, I was uh, about to say that. Something just like, rubs me wrong. That is, it's like in a time I cannot think that this man is beautiful, but I cannot help it. <laughs> <laughs> So, but yes, you notice that this man is, like, does not fit in with, like, the, his, like, his looks and, and everything, uh, about him. And, uh, you walk past him as he's led into Sheriff Hudson's office, and, um, she's like, um, hello, hello sir, is there, uh, anything I can do for you? I'm I'm Sheriff Hudson. Uh, Skip walks directly over to her and sticks out his hand and says, "Ma'am, uh, my name is uh, Corporal Thompson. Uh, I'd like to have a few moments of your time." Uh, and she shakes her hand. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, seat right behind you. He uh, he pulls the chair back and sits down and and kind of d very directly gets right to it. Uh, opens up with. Uh, Ma'am, I'm here with the Counterintelligence Corps, and what my function is, is I'm looking for resources that the U.S. military can possibly take advantage of to help us in the, the war that we have overseas. Uh, so knowing that you have a uh, productive mind, and based on the, the trucks and everything I saw on the way in, looks to be very active. Um, I'm going to be spending some time reviewing the, the mine and its output and its uh, the resource availability and we're going to then make a decision on if we as the military can uh, lay claim to this mine and incorporate it into the war machine that we have going on in our industrial production uh, for uh, you know goods and, and weapons and uh, everything else that we are leveraging over in Europe and uh, I'm hoping that I can have your support that uh, we can team up on this and you'll uh, you'll back me as I go about doing what I need to do uh, yeah I don't see any problem with that uh, we don't want to get in the way of the military um, what can I help you out with uh, well first of all I think um, it would be maybe a good idea to uh, meet with the mine foreman. Uh, it may be best if you're there as well. Uh, I understand that this can be kind of a, a touchy subject sometimes, especially in these small towns. And having the support and um, you know shore, uh, show of camaraderie with the local law enforcement, I think, would go a long way with letting people know that you know we are on the up and up, and this is in their best interest and. The, the best thing that they can do for our country. So I think 
you know, having you with me would be uh, a good uh, good show of uh, support. So that would probably be our next step uh, to go and meet with the mine foreman. And then as well, uh, is there any, do you foresee any potential bad actors or anybody who's going to cause a problem? Uh, it may be a good idea to identify them ahead of time and just be aware of any roadblocks that we may hit along the way. Um, well, as problem people, um, not anymore. But, um, in other words, we... A roadblock that could potentially be in the way is that uh, apparently... Mr. Kelly, the the foreman of uh, of the mines, he apparently there was an accident up at the mines. Uh, we're we're kind of looking into it, um, and he we don't know what his medical situation is. He he's meeting with our nurse, um, uh, our local nurse, and she'll assess if uh, if he needs to go. Um, yeah, if he needs to go to to Mount Holly for med for more medical care, but. Um, Skip, Skip kind of cuts her off and is like, I, I'm sorry to, to hear about the, the unfortunate event. When you say an accident at the mine, is this something that was caused due to a structural or infrastructure problem in the mine? Is there a safety concern in regards to the, the manner that the res resource acquisition is uh, carried out? Not that I know of. I have this pretty much happened within the last hour or two and so we're still getting information but from what I can gather uh, it's definitely not infrastructure wise it seems like it was more personnel um, we do you when well, you we say personnel in, do you mean intentional or we're still trying to find that out uh, we have some well we have the suspect in in one of our holding cells um uh, where I think we have one of uh, my deputies. He's kind of, kind of interrogating him and getting his story right now. Um, I guess if we wanted to go look at the mines, if if you wanted to, uh, I know I have one of my deputies meeting up there with another trusted person in the community, um, and who also works in the mines, um, Caleb Winters. Uh, I don't know anybody who would speak bad about him. If uh, if you uh, you want to go and stop up there, um, I'm trying to think of any other people. Uh, if you want to go look at the mind right now, that would be who we would talk to, and he could give you uh, some updates and see what's going on. All right. Well, um, don't see though why there's any need to wait. The, the sooner we I can you know get my assessment done, the sooner we can make a decision and everybody can move on with their lives. So, um, okay. Do you want to ride with me up there? That would be perfect. Yes, man. Okay. Let me uh, just let me let my men know where I'm going and uh, and uh, to let us know if there's anything that comes up uh, with their with their interview, and then uh, we can head right up there. It's not very far. Ten. 10 minutes out at most. All right, sounds good. Uh, let me know when you're ready to go. I will be right out in the lobby waiting. Mm -hmm. Yes, and if you if you need anything to drink, just ask, ask Michelle. Uh, so will do. She, Thank uh, you. she makes a mean cup of coffee. So, all right, so Skip, uh, Skip <laughs> yep. gets up, kind of gives her a polite nod, and then uh, very briskly walks out the door and returns to sitting at his bench. And and you can see like if you look in the like into the um, like if you look over like Pat behind Michelle you see Sheriff Hudson coming through. Mm -hmm. One thing actually, you know, this would have been a really good thing to describe to let you know how what um, Skip sees mm -hmm. uh, when he sees uh, Sheriff Hudson. You you pretty much see like. Because uh, at this point, I believe she's in her, like, mid-40s. Um, and, like, she's she's getting... Like, she's starting to get a little bit of, like, the signs of age. But there's, like... Um, 
like this strength, like this un like understand like you don't understand like why she has this intimidating. Actually, let me open up her sheet <laughs> and make sure I explain it correctly. Um, yeah, like it for she seems to have this like very very uh actually what's your intimidate my intimidate you is 90 okay you're like <clears throat> you you sense like the way she handles herself is some similar to yours mm. um a kindred spirit right maybe. recognizing uh yeah, yeah. somebody of but the like, same mm -hmm. personality whatever yeah but uh you see that her hair it's like um, it is like shock white um, as like and like she kind of has like this tiredness set in her eyes and and like throughout all this um, you can see like on her her cheek she has like this like kind of gash that kind of goes down the side like from like her ear crooking down towards her mouth mm. and it's not a very big um and it's not it's not fresh but uh it's like it's been there uh for a while um but yeah, she like you you get the sense that she is like no nonsense and no messing around mm -hmm. right uh just like so, just from that conversation. So Skip would already be calculating, like, recognizing a strong force, and so his tactic would be to try and go, you know, more of a persuasive, you know, if he can leverage her and get her on his side, that would be a strong ally who he knows, you know, she's probably used to getting what she wants, so... Uh, being able to sense that that would be the the direction he would want to go with her. Mm -hmm. All right. And uh, yeah, so pretty much by the time that conversation ends, we shift and we are at uh, the recent mine. Caleb, you're there. I think I said uh, Deputy Tom is up there. Mm -hmm. um, as uh, he. He's like, oh, yep, I was uh, told away for you, and uh, yeah, I didn't go in, but we didn't let him. We didn't let anybody else in. But uh, I guess we can go take a quick look. Yeah. So uh, yeah, let's see, see how bad it is. Mm -hmm. And like Tom, when you see him, he's like, he's got like a long face, wiry frame. He's got like a crop of like brown hair that's kind of. It's not a comb over, but it's like side swept over underneath his hat, um, and uh, he's just like, "Okay, um, what? Uh, did you hear anything that, about uh, about Buck?" I haven't heard anything. It's just that he's um, being looked after right now, and well, I guess we'll uh, find out together what how it's gonna go. Yep, uh, yep. Uh, Sheriff wanted me to take a look and see if there's if I could spot anything up here and get an idea what was going on. Yeah, it's I don't know what what else we can find up here. It's from all accounts uh this I'm trying to remember if I gave the guy who attacked <laughs> a name. Um I d you <laughs> I didn't like... tell us his name, I don't think. <laughs> I would have written it down if you had. Yeah, I'm... Aye. So... Um... Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking through my notes. There he is. So yeah, um, yeah, Pat Pat Parker. Uh, he um, I don't know. It's just strange. Like he he just 
kind of lost it and was going crazy. It's just... You know how Pat is, like, he, uh, he gets a little all worked up when it comes to politics and everything, and this, the fact that Ashley, what's his name, Ashley something or other, Carter, Carter, there we go, uh, is running against Giuseppe, dude, you know that was getting fired up, and he was getting all fired up, and all of a sudden, it was like, uh, I think some of the men said they didn't look human anymore. Why would he go after... Why would he have to go after Buck, though? I, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully Buck is able to wake up and can find that out, but... Um, yeah, I don't even... I don't even know. They... It seems like he went down without a fight as well, but... I don't know. This is... This is just weird. You ever feel like sometimes this town is cursed or something? More than you know. Uh, you've been here since you were born, and you know I'm. I only came in within the, the past couple years, so it's uh, here in the history and everything. It's just there's been some strange town. There's been some stuff. Um, yeah. So I guess uh, did anybody t say where uh, Parker had been working in the mine? I can go ask uh, the. Yeah. Uh, I can go find out if you didn't, if they hadn't told you yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, he, he worked right up there, and uh, he kind of points his flashlight. You guys are the only ones in the mine right now, by the way. Um, and you you come up, and uh, yeah, you you see like a like kind of this pool of blood, uh, or at least the ground wet with like kind of blood. Um, you see like. Um, like kind of a, a shovel uh, that that's a little splintered uh, on the handle, kind of laying there. Um, you see kind of some overturned um, coal coal carts, um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of what you see, like kind of all scattered around. So what I'm I guess what I'm kind of wondering is if, if I would be able to find out if uh, Parker was working in that kind of newer section from the last chapter. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is this is part of that. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah like uh, you guys kind of went in there. Uh, it like it's opened up a lot more, and it's like this whole new vein. Which uh, you guys are pretty thankful for, since uh, you don't have to like go to one of the, the farther mines. Um, so yeah, it, is there anything you're doing to look around, or um, so? Or what do you want to do? I mean, I'd kind of be letting the uh, the deputy do most of the investigation around the, the actual active crime scene, and not touching anything. Is that I'm assuming the re working relationship with Caleb and the sheriff and sheriff's department is that yeah, I'm. I have the privilege of working alongside of them, but also I'm not an employee of the sheriff's department, so you know the, mm -hmm. the agreement is to you know look but don't touch uh, unless explicitly given permission. So I'll be looking around and probably looking, kind of examining where Parker was last reported to be of to have been working before the the incident, trying to see mm -hmm. if anything seems or feels out of place. Uh, yeah. Probably. Uh, give a spot head and check. And yeah, that's kind of what I was leaning towards there. Uh, that would be a forty under forty three. Yeah, you um, like you see the blood and everything. You see kind of like the splinters of wood over the place. Um, but they're really you don't really spot anything like abnormal. Um, you don't see, like, any different kind of, of ore. You don't see any, uh, evidence of, like, anything besides, um, like, just what you see on the ground. Uh, and then, like, kind of, as you're looking, like, real close, uh, you, you hear from the, the front of the mine, Caleb! Caleb! Someone's here! 
Uh, who's here? I missed the stop button. That's where I was going to say, and we'll find out next week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I misclicked and missed the stop button. <laughs> but it's like, yeah. We'll see who's here next week. Ba -da -da. Dun, dun, dun. Bye. Caleb gets to meet the beautiful man. <laughs> well, I already met him once, sort of. Saw him now from officially. afar. And soon, marriage. <laughs> <laughs> that would take and a turn how, and that's how skip joins centrillion <laughs> so, much for, uh, so much for trying to unter uncover the uh secret societies now it becomes part oh. of one <laughs> <laughs> no he's he's gonna have to make one with how uh how gay rights were back then yeah, right. <laughs> anyway see you guys next week <laughs> bye, bye.